John, this is your February 24th, 2024 lesson. Uh, the, the stance is better. We need, to, as we talked about before we started recording, uh, need, need to get the weight. For you, it almost has a feeling like the balls of your feet. And now bring your butt a little bit closer to your, your center line. Uh, you know, so if we put a club down from your butt, there's still, you know, you, we can still get 50% closer to the center line. Okay, so, uh, and that the posture's great. Okay, so, you know, we, yeah, like I said before, we drug it inside. Ideally, we want that to overlap your hands. But, and, and the reason is, oops. see, this is, this is, you can't see it, but the club head overlaps the hand. Okay, yeah. So, overlaps the hands. The problem with this is, is this sets up being across the line, which exacerbates going steep. But you, you, you've, you've figured it out because you, you've broken the code because what you do is don't allow it to get across the line, which is a great move. Look at this. So this is perfectly on plane. And see, the average guy that drags it inside on myself included, was here. Then we get across the line. And there's no way other than coming down steep. But so you do this, this, and, and and you do that with the elbow. It's, it's really uh, uh, that's why you can that's why you can play so well. Is <laughs> is you get it to it. This spot is really good, as you brought up. The arms are a little low, but that's not any. It's just a single plane. It's actually below the thing. But what's great is that elbow is down. You know, I like to see it aired a little more out. This air out the armpit this way, mm -hmm. but. This is, this is phenomenal. That's why you can play. But e even at this point, see, you've come away from the back wall, even on your backswing. So you, you kind of you come away this way as opposed to this. So this hip, you know, and we're not quite to the hip, but I'm just explaining. This hip goes back, and it actually kind of goes up a bit like that. So then we can go down and, and after it. So now you get this hip socket out, and part of it is is you've got here's here's the here's the vertical on your toe line. So with that knee out, this hip socket's out, and it's dragging the whole thing away from the wall. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's initial uh, on the backswing that should be pegged. Okay. So th this is what I was saying. This, this is what is now your effective <laughs> back wall. And your hips, your hips stay close to that. And see, that, that's the distance we're looking for. OK, so, so but the number one ingredient is, is on plane. So OK, so I don't see this. Firing of the hands, which is good. And great depth. See how the, the butt of your club is on your outside of the heel? That's, that's professional quality. And you come down. Not as steep as you were. And, you know, to be honest, you know, I'll draw the line so you can see. There's, the, the red line here is your shaft and we actually want it on your forearm. I mean, that's the guidepost, 
and every golfer doesn't matter if your swing looks like Furyk or Trevino or anything, they always end up on the forearm. The great news: look, your your butt hasn't come away from the back wall; it's close to the effective back wall, and you know you can actually play with the swing. See, the club head is right here. The pros have it just here. Then it gets outside, which is okay. So you could play with the swing. It's just not clean enough. You still have some, just under pressure, we always go back to prior programming. For So for anything, we want to overcompensate in our practice. Okay, so, so but hu huge progress. And then when you come through, look, you're against that, a new back wall, the effective back wall. So, and then, the hip movement is is fine, but I, I, you know, I just think that, yeah. Okay, so the first thing we do is we get the remaining twenty five percent of the on plane thing. Okay. <clears throat> then the next thing is we we have to get have to get that get that thing collapsing more instead of this thing because this is just moving the whole thing that gets you away from the I, I think if your butt's way back if, if this goes like this then then I think I think you can rotate fine yeah. but but you're so far back that any little movement puts you forward and mm -hmm. and also yeah, I, I just think that I've seen in those videos where they put a ball here and they turn. Yeah, that yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe would help. Uh, a actually, one of the uh, you know uh, range basket because we want it to oh, yeah. collapse a bit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, okay, so wait, at the simple. Okay, so so you get that right knee outside, but. I like how that that front front lower leg is slanted in. We just need to take that out of it. We right. just you know like Elvis legs. Like yeah. if you have weight here, you know we should be able to go anywhere we want with this. Well, let's just go this way, mm -hmm. and and then go. Uh, okay. So and like I said, now watch this this. Left lower leg gets vertical fast, so that's oops, not as much as before. Huh. Okay, so it's still slanted. Not going to worry about it. We'll worry about that later. It's this pretty good action in here, but you can see from behind you're just kind of stuck. End up in 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 really good position. So a little extra movement of that thing getting outside, mm -hmm. not causing any trauma. Yeah, that's because that's because your hip sockets have gone out here, and there's no room. To do it right, it's it's here. Then there's room, so your hands can come through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't sweat anything right here. Head stays behind the ball. Good release. You know, yeah, the flippiness will will disappear. Once we once we get it here, wait. wait.